Hi, this is a Python GUI tutorial that I created for a lottery generator system. So what I'm going to do is just to show you guys how it run. But before that, here, up here, I have a label, and I have a, what you will class as a text box, but it's called Enter. And here is a button. So if I click on my button, this is what you get. Can you see that the system is generating various lottery numbers? So, what I'll do now is uh, I'll take you into the Python programming environment so that you see how I've actually put together this uh, brief tutorial. So, let's go into the coding area to import the following. Well, let's import uh, and um, follow by income. Let's import that too and make that all. Um, let me just change this around so that you guys can see what I'm doing there properly. Yeah, that's good. Okay, there. Right, okay. Then uh, the next thing is I will define my interface. I'm going to call it Lottery. That's the name of my system equals TK. And now let me define my geometry. So might as well just copy and paste that. That's my geometry there. That okay, just see that's this that will be the size of my screen. Multiply that by let's say times. 360 close that brackets and uh, correct this okay so let me now get my frame on board that's frame and that will be the lottery okay now we're getting somewhere and uh, let's say frame dot park good so let me give it a title that's the title of my program get a title there lottery number alright I'll call that generator that's the title there so let's define the following variables so I will need six of those so I will just speed that up okay six variable def uh, defined so let me declare up here I will declare up here my function that's lot of number that's my function right there and uh, this function I might as well use um, q equals random random dot ram int equals one to number 49 okay so I'm going to create five more of those so I'll pause it to speed up the system yeah that's uh, my variables declared there so now the variable declared in here I will then store each of these variables right in there the first one is the queue goes in there and I'll repeat the, exactly the same thing for the rest so let me speed that up too okay I'll speed that up so let me just enter return there good that's that done okay as you can see all of these variables here I've actually assigned some values into them so the next thing I'll do is I need, I'm going to need some labels right here so let's, uh, let's define another variable for my, for my label let's say var equals string and this 
is just to store the following okay close that done and let's just call my friend as frame one equals frame and this very frame one should be right at the top let's get it right at the top the package or the tag size equals top there okay the next thing is I'm gonna need the label okay let's get a label there that's my label equals label okay. this label is to go inside frame one and um, the text variable is to inherit that and the font size equals make that area and uh, let it be 48 let's say the width equals 24 close that okay now I've got my label in place so let's copy that just to make one or two more labels copy paste paste another one just to give me some space in between the the whole system so I'm gonna get rid of all of this let's get rid of this and empty this out repeat exactly the same thing here empty that out yeah that's just to give me a space between between the label and my text and the text box right before I continue let me just end it and uh, try it out and see how the system will look like okay there so try just trying it out let's see how it looks like and that's what I have so far okay that's what I have so far okay let's move on the next thing I would do is to actually define my my text box so for the text box let me just copy this paste it right there that will be for my I'll call that frame 2 for my text box so underneath here I now call my text txt display that's the name of my text box equals enter I'll speed it up and get back to you again or maybe just let me just show you one line I'll just show you one line of it equals frame 2 it's frame 2 comma the text variable in there equals num1 and then let's insert with equals 1 font equals area and change that to about 30 and now we now justify let's justify it to center center and width equals 4 close that and we now say txt display dot pack equals that's the side equals let's say left close that that's my first 
the very first uh, text box completed so I'll t try it out on now uh, so that we see what will happen okay that's the very first one okay that's my very first one there so what I'll do next is just copy and paste so go back copy all of this two three four five and six so now I have my six text box so just change the names to X done okay let's check out the names let me reduce this so that you guys can see the names you can see it properly okay now can you see everything in details okay now maybe enlarge it a little bit more for you make that 12 apply okay all right now let's run the program so that you see what we've done so far okay those are my six text boxes in place or three boxes in place so I now need a button that I will trigger to generate the lottery numbers so let's go back and create a button just right underneath here I'm going to copy this and create my third frame copy that paste it right underneath here change this to frame 3 there and I declare my button button 1 equals button that belongs to frame 3 and I'm going to set the very state of this equals disable I'm using this as a space in between the text box and the text content in here equals nothing there that's just to act as a to give me space the next one is let's say size equals top close that now I'm going to copy this paste it right underneath here get rid of the state and let's enter padding for it padding is 8 okay and uh, comma width is make that 18 um, padding y make that 8 as well then font equals area comma 26 close that and the text in this case would be lotto number generator good that's my text the next thing is BG make that make the body black. Okay, that is it, guys. Now we've completed this. Let's move this back up, and uh, all we just need to do now is uh, run the program, and there, uh, and that's how you create a lottery number generator using Python GUI system. I suppose you all enjoy the code uh, the program so I'm just gonna call it a day now so you all have a nice day bye